Brock Foster is a brand manager with ZF, and Brock, I gotta tell you, you know, uh, I know ZF for transmissions, but you guys are not at the battery show to talk about transmissions. No, we are not, and a lot of folks know us from transmissions, and more recently with automated driving solutions and advanced safety systems. What ZF is here at the battery show to discuss today is our battery testing portfolio. Now, I find that a little ironic because every other place I go to at this battery show, they're talking about putting batteries together. Yep. You're talking about tearing them apart. Yes, exactly. So ZF Group does not have a portfolio in battery production, but ZF Test Systems produces the battery test systems that will cycle through from cell module to pack to test at both an R&D level in the lab and at the production sites. Oh, very interesting. Production site especially because my understanding is it can actually take a couple of months to know if a cell is really good or not. Is that right? I've been told that cells are living, breathing chemical contrivances and uh, they change over time. Yeah, so um, within the lab especially, what our equipment is designed to do is our equipment is designed to take a cell or a module that's comprised of cells and test it at different levels. So um, in an endurance test, you're, char you're testing charge and discharge cycles, thousands of cycles. And what you can do as well within those tests is you can take it uh, with an environmental chamber where you're testing for cold temperature. You can test uh, for certain vibrations and abuse the cells, modules, or packs to see at what level they, uh, that they will be destroyed. So I, I, you've got some pictures on the wall. Is, is this an actual unit right here? Yes. So Let's take a look. Uh, Come of course, it just looks like a big white refrigerator for all. Yeah, so this is this is our ZF ESIS M module tester that tests up to a hundred kilowatts module. And again, this, this simulates charge discharge cycles of batteries as an industrial power electronic instead of having a battery module. So you can drive your own battery module back to back against this, um, or you can use this to simulate a, a module module that would be configured into a vehicle. So your customers, what are they really looking for these days uh, so, in their testing? Right, so our customers are labs that will test a lot of different companies' batteries. Uh, they're also the vehicle manufacturers themselves and the battery manufacturers. Our customers are looking to test in the lab different performance, life cycle, environmental, and abuse testing. As well as in the production, there is a set cycle that the battery cell needs to go through, and we're able to adapt and connect to that battery pack, cell, or module, and then test according to their specifications. I gotta believe there's a lot of difference between testing in the lab and testing on the plant floor. Yes, definitely, definitely. So uh, in a lab, you're in a controlled environment with some of the destructive tests. Um, they need to uh, occur with, with certain fire protection and um, different e explosion proof areas. On the production floor, it's the same. You do have uh, an enclosure around the test cell. However, that's more of a controlled fixed test. And in the lab, you are testing on the theoretical side a lot of the times. How fast can you test cells out on the floor? I mean, is it uh, like a batch test or are you doing one right so, after the other? Right, so for batch control you are uh, you're, you're doing an audit and so we do build a test stand to audit cells or modules or packs, typically pack level testing and those are much longer tests that will run through a full life cycle of a battery. From a, uh, from a normal production test those are much much shorter tests and again the cycle time depends on what the OE is looking for. As you know, one of the big problems with any battery plan is yield, i.e. reduce as much scrap as possible. How are your testing machines able to help battery plants increase their yield and reduce their scrap? Right, so I think uh, on the validation side, having a repeatable test where it's saying if something is okay or N okay within uh, the production environment is so important. So. Our test stands are built to have a repeatable test cycle and they're built as very, very high precision machines where that you can limit the scrap or you can make sure that the production quality is such that you'll make, make those changes to support 
a better production cycle for your company. So how are sales? And I ask it from this standpoint, as you know, sales of EVs have slowed down, but I got to believe that the development and testing has not slowed down one, one right. iota. So the development will push forward and depending on what level you're at, um, companies are continuously evaluating new technology for electric motors, electric drives, hybrid technology. And so uh, sales and discussions of new projects are, uh, let's say, quite intense right now. Yeah, that's a good point. You mentioned hybrids because uh, even if EV sales, had, uh, the rate of growth has slowed. The rate of growth for EV or for hybrids and plug-in hybrids is is going off the charts right now. Right. So, uh, such a piece of equipment can be used to simulate a, a, a lower power unit, for example, in a plug-in hybrid or a mild hybrid application. And so, our uh, uh, our equipment can be used to simulate that battery behavior for a smaller battery that's needed for those applications up to a much larger even commercial vehicle application up to 1.5 megawatt. Real good. Am I missing anything? Anything you should add? Yeah, I, th I think where uh, what I would like to add is that ZF within testing has been around for about 40 years. Um, as we've gone from traditional powertrain, transmission axles to e-mobility and now to battery, Within North America, ZF Test Systems has a presence of about 50 people, and uh, we're growing, and we're open for business. So we want our customers to know that we can support you on your lab application, cell module, pack, life cycle performance abuse, as well as your production applications, and, and we're ready to support you. So please reach out and let me know what I can help with. Real good, thanks much, Brock. Yep, thank you. As experts in direct current switching and control, Scheldtbau and Edisi, a Scheldtbau brand, are at the front leading the charge in developing and manufacturing the necessary electromechanical components for the future. Each system and application will require conditions in which a stable connection, secure contact, and safe control of power are vitally important. These challenging conditions are what make Scheldtbau and Edisi qualified for this future.